we are experiencing some difficulties right now because of the hurt that we are still currently carrying from years ago. Uh, when we may have been growing up, there was something that our parents said or done to us that has affected us so greatly even to this present day. Uh, that's why they're trying to teach you now psychologically not to say certain things to your children because it will hurt them in the long run. Uh, they try to tell you, don't tell your child that they're no good. You, you ain't no good. Your daddy wasn't no good. And, and so forth and so on. And so uh, that drilled over and over into a person's mind will cause hurt. Now, some parents just don't have good understanding. You know, raising children don't come with a manual. Amen. Sometimes it's by trial and error that you learn how to raise children. So here you are with your first child. You really may not just know what to do with that child. You may just uh, uh, say, Lord, help me as I go along. But there are some things that we do to children that will cause them to remember the rest of their life. And here it is that uh, 50 years almost, and I can remember, and I think I told some of you all uh, some of the things that had happened in my early childhood and how that uh, my mother, although she was young <coughs> at the time, she abandoned me at a very young age. Now, I didn't know anything about it at the time, Bishop. I, I was uh, uh, there laying in a bed wet with a sour bottle and no change of diaper laying there crying all by myself and my uncle came in and found me and took me to my grandmother and my grandmother raised me from three months old up until 21 years of age my mother was 13 when she conceived me and 14 when she had me. And for years, Sister Diane, I carried that hurt around with me and didn't know it because I thought that I was doing all right, Brother Burton. I thought that everything was going okay. But lo and behold, there was one day when I was dealing with something that sprung up in me. And I began to wonder why did I have these feelings? Feeling of alienation, feeling of abandonment, feeling of rejection. And it came from my mother abandoning me at, eight, at three months old. And so I had to deal with that hurt. And two years before her demise, or two years before she passed on, to be with the Lord, we were able to mend the breach that was caused years and years ago. And so the Lord allowed me at, at some point in time to call her mother, whereas before I used to call her by her first name. And I called my grandmother, mother. And some of us are dealing with some of those type of hurts even now. And let's talk about uh, in the Bible, there was a man by the name of Joseph. You all know the story. Joseph had many brothers. Yes. And his father favored him. Now, th this is a story where those of you who come from big families, you may be able to attest to this. That... Uh, uh, the father favored Joseph and he began to shower him with love and affection and he even made him a coat of many colors and and the brothers got kind of jealous of Joseph wondering what what's going on here all of us are brothers and all of us are sons why in the world would he just shower Joseph with such uh, love and affection but he did. The daddy showed favoritism 
to them and then the brothers got hurt over that. And they sought a way to get even. Now think about if you ever grew up in a house full of siblings and your mother or father treated one better than the other and how it made you feel when one of your siblings got more than you and they always got more than you and you wanted to know why they got more than you and you were supposedly the good child and here mother was trying to shower and look like that rascal of your brother or your sister that was out doing bad things and wanted to do more for them than they would for you. So the brother saw a way to hurt Joseph. Joseph was hurt over the, the brother's jealousy, but then the brother saw a way to hurt him. And you know how the story went on that they was going to kill him in the field. And one of the younger brothers said, no, don't kill him because it would really do our father in if you kill him. He said, tell you what you do, put him down in the well. Now all of his brothers conspired against him. Can you imagine all of your brothers conspiring against you because they're jealous of you and they want to put you down in a hole so that they can get rid of you. And then, after all of that, they said, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to pull him up and we're going to set him into slavery. Now, they, that's how bad they didn't, that's how jealous they was of him. And so they sold him into slavery because they were hurt because the father showed favoritism to him. And... Then we go to the story of Tamar, which was Absalom's sister. David's son, Absalom, had a sister by the name of Tamar. And Abnon was uh, the half-brother, as you would say. And Abnon loved his sister. Had a little had a little sickness going on here. He loved his sister. He loved her so much that he got sick of the fact that he wanted to be with her. And 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 he just he just just just, just wouldn't he because he loved his sister so much. And we've had this situation. That's a pretty tough message, but I'm gonna preach it anyway. Hurt over the fact that he couldn't lay with his own sister. And so he sought out a way to sleep with his own sister because he was in love with her. And Jonathan, his friend, said, Man, what's wrong with you? You're the, you're the king's kid. Why are you walking around here all lean like this? So what's wrong with you? So, Man, you know, the kings, you the kings, what you? Oh, sickly, sickly looking. And he told him, he said, tell me what's wrong. He said, man, listen, I, I, I just got to let, 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 let it all hang out. I, I got a problem. You know, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in love with my own sister. Can you imagine being in love with your own sister? And so Jonadab told him, he said, listen, make yourself sick. And then invite her over and tell her that you want her to feed her, feed you, and that will make you well. So when David, the king, his father, came, he said, David said, what's wrong with you, boy? He said, oh, I'm so sick, I'm so sick. He said, send Tamar over that she may fix me some food and that uh, she may prepare me some meat that I may uh, get better. Well, he was really trying to find a way, or he was trying to work up on a way so that he could sleep with his own sister. And showed up. David sent Timon over. And she came over and prepared a meal and 
fixed it for him. And then he sent all of the men away. He said, all of y'all get out. Go. I don't want nobody here but him. See how the devil tricked you? And when he had sent away all of the men and what have you, he told us, come on into my chamber. And when he got her into the chamber, uh, he grabbed hold to her. And he said, hold on. She said to him, said, listen, brother. I said, now hold on. You about to mess up. He said, now, don't act like a fool. Say you'll be like a fool in Israel. Read in your Bible. It's in your Bible. Say you, you're going to be like a fool in Israel if you do this thing. But he wouldn't hearken unto her words. He forced himself on his own sister. Now you can imagine how hurt she was over the fact. But guess what happened? It wasn't so much the act of forcing himself that made it bad. After he had done the damage, he told her, get out. Get out of my sight. And, and she said, why do you want to do this thing to me? And she wouldn't leave. And, and he, he told the servants, he said, put her out. And bolt the door behind her so she I can't got, even come I back in. And when she left, she left with her heart broken. Not only that her brother had forced himself on her, but also that he had shamed her afterwards and made her heart to break and by rejecting her after he had took her virginity. And so there she was on the other side of the door after being raped by her brother on the other side of the door lost her virginity to her own brother on the other side of the door. And she had to tear her clothes and rent her clothes. That The cloak that she wore was of uh, colors because that what the king uh, kids wore. The, those that were virgins wore a certain cloak. And she had to tear it because she had lost her virginity to her own brother. Now you know she was hurt. And you know some lady or uh, nowadays that some man have been done the same way? Hurt. Physical damage. Pain. Injured. Cause mental and emotional suffering. Distress. There's somebody sitting right here today that have experienced hurt. And after Absalom found out about it. He made matters even worse. He asked his sister. He said, what's wrong with you, girl? Why are you doing all this crying? Why is your heart so heavy? He said, no, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. He said, he said, have, you, he said have your brother had none been with you? And she was so hurt she couldn't really say nothing. So long plotted a plot. Hurt. Hurt. Brother sleeping with his own sister. Joseph. Brothers plotting against him. Selling him into slavery.